So I want to give you an idea of how these projects start. This project I'm doing right now is in response to these cardboard planter inserts that um, are just kind of disintegrating. The company that made them is I'm no longer in business and I can't buy them anymore so I'm going to have to come up with an idea of how to replace these inserts. I love the, the planters, they look great, it's just I can't buy the inserts anymore. So here's the planters and you can see how crummy the inserts look, they're all falling apart, they're all water damaged and I've had these for four or five years now. And I just usually go buy new ones every few years, but I can't get them anymore. So I emptied this one out. See the frame? It's all galvanized frame. My buddy custom makes them. Um, emptied it out. And what I'm doing is... Stand by. So what I'm doing is, you can see here's the old pot that I've emptied out and cut up. And I've been using this as a template to make new ones onto this horse mat. It's a three quarter inch horse mat that I bought at Tractor Supply. And I've transferred the, the shape of the pot onto the, the rubber. Very tough to see, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to cut one. But the, the mat was 40 bucks, and each one of these was 40 or 50 bucks. So I got two of them shaped, uh, stenciled out here and I'm going to try to cut these up and uh, we'll see how this goes. I won't bore you with watching me cut these up. I will, because um, it may not work out. <laughs> uh, but I uh, will cut these up and then we'll see how it works and we'll get back at you. So I think I got it together now and I'll show you what I did. So I cut out the cut out the shape out of the horse mat right here that I traced from the old the old pot traced it out cut it with a just a razor knife it took me a little while um, and then I cut some steel and put a steel reinforced um, edge where the two pieces come together so that is working good it looks like it's holding well um, and then I cut another round piece at the bottom and I screwed it all around the, uh, the perimeter with some construction grade screws. And this is kind of what we have. And I'm just about to take it out and throw it in the pot and see how it looks. I also set my, um, set my, set my camera down on an unstable surface and the microphone, it fell. My, I'm, it's my fault, I'm so stupid. It fell and the microphone snapped off. Hello? Patrick, you are stupid. Don't set your camera on instable surfaces anymore. Thank you very much. So I'm gonna carry this out back, it's heavy. And so I'm gonna put it in the thing and we'll see how it looks. Hang on. Putting the pot in. And See him? He's just perfectly framed right there in the middle of the arbor. I'll walk up closely until he takes off or she. She let me get pretty close. I know it's probably hard to see. She's right there. Let me get real close. Getting her spooky. Oh, there she goes. She looks pretty fat. Yeah, okay. 
She's done. There she goes. <laughs> She's big. Big horse. So, back to the, the planter pot. As you can see, it, I think it worked out pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. Screws are on the bottom. A little stainless steel. That right. we'll put uh, put the dirt back in. And here we'll put the sticks back in. It'll look cool. I'm very happy with the way that turned out. And I don't have to buy new ones every year. I'll probably have to fix these every year, but it's looking good. All right, uh, make one more.